You know what's transphobic? J.K. Rowling. You know who else is transphobic? People like Liz Truss, uh, Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump. You know who's not transphobic? Fellow communists who are simply just out there posting memes and things for the lols. You know what also doesn't make them necessarily transphobic or non or not? A stupid profile picture. I'm not going to go in detail to this, but some of you people really need to fucking stop. Because it gets to a point when you start calling somebody a transphobe, and it's no different than the transphobes themselves who are attacking other cis women, you know, claiming that they're trans and, you know, oh, well, you'll never be a real man, you'll never be this, you'll never be that. And the woman is cis, very obviously cis. So when you start going around and poking and trying to claim that everybody's transphobic, everybody's, tr uh, you know, this person's a transphobe, this person's a transphobe, it's like Oprah, you get a transphobia and you get a transphobia. No, it actually reminds me of the Spider-Man, the Spider-Man memes, sorry, of Spider, of the, like, what is it, two, three or four Spider-Mans that are all pointing at each other. That's what you fucking idiots are. Without sounding like I'm bullying people or calling a particular person out, even though I kind of am, um, or without trying to come off as some transphobia defender, which I'm not, <clears throat> I got into an argument, not even an argument, because I choose not to argue with people that are stupid, um... But essentially, it's one of those things where I got into a um, heated discussion, if you can even call it that even, um, with somebody who basically was trying to call a comrade of mine a transphobe. Despite the fact that one of his biggest, like, you know comrades in the servers that he the server that he's in or one of the servers that he's in one of the group chats that he's part of and just the cadre of people he's part of is like half trans and non-binary we have like a group of like 12 people in in i think the our twitter chat right now and like half of us are trans and non-binary in the Discord server, it's probably those demographics are probably about the same, if not even you know forty tra uh, forty percent trans and sixty percent cis. But point being is that he's not transphobic. If I had any inkling this person was a transphobe, I would have kicked him from my server. I wouldn't have even invited him to my server. I wouldn't even have him in my group chat. But no, he's transphobic because he has a certain cartoon character, adult cartoon character, as his profile picture. Which, by the way, in that cartoon was basically the voice of reason. And from what I remember, I don't remember there ever being any sort of transphobic jokes made coming from that particular character. I know one of the characters that is, ex you know, insanely transphobic, but that character is also, you know, time and time again portrayed as the asshole type. So, yeah, 
and I've watched that show. I still like to indulge in that show every once in a while. Does that make me transphobic? No. Does that make me a fucking libertarian shill? Because the people that make it are libertarian idiots? No. It means that we actually just enjoy the cartoon. Which is another thing. It's a fucking cartoon. It's not like I'm going and buying the merch for it. It's not like I'm going and, you know, you know, it's not like there's books or something made from it that I'm going to buy. And I there was one movie made from that cartoon. And yes, I used to own it. Well, not me personally. My grandfather technically bought it. And I've watched it several times. And I'm not ashamed of it. Another thing is is that This cartoon is, you know, very much made for adults, and it's meant to parody life in general. So, yes, while the, I'm not necessarily condoning some of the material, because some of the material is cringy as fuck, and, you know, but it's a cartoon, like Family Guy. Don't take it so fucking seriously. And it's also kind of as a little example on life. Life is short and it sucks. And some of us are just here for a good time, not a long time. And so we make jokes, we'll make shit posts, we'll do this and that. And half the time that's what... <laughs> me and my comrades are doing so i can understand especially since i know that you're um autistic and that no shame in that i am too um that sometimes the humor doesn't always land and sometimes there's certain things that just go Phew. i get that i totally get that it's still one of those things where it's like again it, you know, as a friend of mine always used to say, it's a joke, not a dick. Don't take it so hard. Um, just, you need to stop. This dude is not transphobic. He actually regularly calls out transphobes, MAGA communists, slash Pat Sox, whatever you want to call them, you know, and just conserva fascists um he calls these people out and he defends trans people he always has and for the foreseeable future i can don't see that happen uh that going away um he's based as fuck yeah he's a little rough around the edges <laughs> but i think in this school of thought a lot of us are and also some of us are just a little bit of assholes <laughs> but uh i love you guys uh this is partially for them too this is partially for the the crowd but um you yeah, know i love you guys um but more to the point though he's not a bad person and i've tried to point this out to the person making the accusation that he's transphobic. Um, the thing that came across as weird is this was what wasn't even their post. It wasn't his post or her post. It was somebody else's post, although it might be her post because I have an inkling that that might be a second account or an alt or a, a bot or something. But point being is that they were trying to, whoever this person was, was trying to accuse him of being transphobic, which he's not. He is very much a defender of contemporary Marxist ideals. He is very much a defender of trans people and the idea of trans liberation. And if you actually read more into his actual you know, post history, you know, and actually, or just actually, you know, have a nice conversation with the guy, like, hey, maybe even hit him up on DMs and be like, hey, maybe I misconstrued something, but that came off as a little transphobic, 
and maybe we could clear the air. No, instead you resort straight to attack mode and decided, no, this person is transphobic. Well, no, he's not. He is very much a freaking, you know, comrade of mine who is very down to earth and is usually most of the shit he's posting is for a bit. So I don't really understand. So maybe again, that comedy didn't land on you or, you know, maybe the parody is lost on you. I get it. I totally get that. I missed some marks too. I fact, quite often I do that. <laughs> But, um, no, you're wrong. He's not a transphobe. And the thing that gets me is that this is the type of person that tends to like to call a lot of things transphobic. And I don't even know what, what she was talking about. She was trying to say that they, uh, that his whole, um, <laughs> profile is literally full of transphobic shit or transphobic memes or something like that. Uh, where? Source? Because <laughs> I follow this guy's page pretty well. He's, again, a good friend of mine. I don't see what the fuck you're talking about. You're an idiot. That's what you are. You're just a fucking idiot who likes to call everything transphobic. And it, it gets to a point where it's just kind of like, you know, that uh, Montoya guy from princess diaries where it's like you know that word i don't think it means what you think it means which is would be ironic considering that you are supposedly trans unless this is again just a bot or an op or something like that but you know i'm not gonna make any accusations because otherwise i'll probably get called transphobic <laughs> just <laughs> And I had a conversation with this person, too, and it was wild. You know, she was just kind of like, well, you have shitty friends. Well, you have, have shitty opinions. <laughs> you have shitty takes. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, um... This, what the fuck? I, I, I've been doing this shit since I was, what... 18, 19, something like that. I've been doing this for a long time, and I've been a committed Marxist for the last 10 years, all going on tw uh, 11. And I've probably been on YouTube for probably even longer than that. And I knew we were stupid, but I didn't know we were X Games stupid, man. <laughs> Holy crap, we're pulling a 900 of stupid. And and if we're going to go on, and that's just society. If we go to the internet, oh, we're pulling almost a thousand on that one. Like maybe 90, like 950, if you know, is the friggin' bar. But we are still pulling a high level of stupid. Uh, and then you wonder why I think that we should remove all warning labels. Anyway, um... <laughs> So, yeah, I don't get it. I really don't get it why this person decided to, A, attack this person, you know, of all people, and what stick they've got up their ass, but why in the hell would you think that they were ever transphobic? And this is what I mean when I said that, I, when I basically told her you're a sensitive, you know, essentially a sensitive twat, I didn't use those exact words, but I'd probably use some language that wasn't very nice. Um, and watch, I'm going to get called a bully because of this. Um, watch this video actually get taken down or something like that because I'm harassing and bullying somebody. Go fuck yourself. I'm just proving that you're proving a point that you're wrong. Oh, and then they called me narcissistic and... Um, what was the other thing? Um, oh, and that uh, that he and I were, that he and I were a tool, and that we were larpers. You know, and I'm not, you know, and I'm not role playing as a Marxist. Do you really think I'm gonna buy flags that I lit, one of which I had to ship from fucking China and wait two goddamn months for in frustration, just to, to 
pretend to be a Marxist, do you really think I would spend 12 fucking years talking about things from a Marxist perspective? Do you think that I would be trying to educate the masses on Marxist-Leninist theory and the and presenting trans issues and tra through the lens of Marxism-Leninism and the idea of trans liberation through MLism if I wasn't actually a Marxist. So all of this is just a fucking game that I'm playing, apparently. Like, it really gets me that these fucking anarchities, and that's what she is, she's a fucking anarchist, thinks that, you know, oh, well, you know, you're just a LARPer. Well, again, you're just an idiot. You're just like Zoe Baker. In fact, I really wouldn't... And the funny part is, is I even told her how much that you sound like Zoe Baker. And funny enough, she didn't deny it. She didn't even acknowledge it. Um, she actually just says that I was in a dysphoria rage. Which, by the way, um, if we're going to be, you know, accusing people of transphobic, whew, that kind of, kind of sounds like a bit of a transphobic comment, doesn't it? You know, because uh, it's basically the equivalent of calling a cis woman hormonal or, you know, you know, it's just kind of like, oh, well, you're just in a dysphoria rage, you know, because, you know, so it's like I pissed you off because and, I, you know, and I f failed to see it. So therefore, oh, I'm, I'm just going to pass all of this off as just, you know, as saying that this is just some sort of condition that you must be going through that makes you a raging bitch. Maybe it's just that I'm a raging bitch in general. <laughs> so, it's like, what made you, didn't, like, you know, what makes you think I wasn't already like this to begin with? I'm a night, I'm kind of a bit of a nihilistic person, a pessimistic person. But I've also been, again, it also has a lot more to do with the fact that I've been doing this bullshit for, <laughs> for over 10 years. And people like you just grow ever more infuriating to deal with. Because you're distracting us from what we really should be focusing on. And instead of focusing on real topics like Brianna Gray, um, I have to stop and take a few minutes to address the idiot in the room. I mean, the elephant. Um... So, yeah, I'm done talking about this. I, I'm surprised this was even worth 15, 20 minutes of my fucking time. I'm just basically at this point uh, doing a rage commentary because, yeah, this person is stupid. My comrade is not transphobic. You're just a sensitive idiot. And, frankly, the fact that uh, you were such a coward that you didn't want to deal with any more of my proof about how it is i even literally took screenshots of some of his other posts about him defending trans people and i said "Ooh, look he is such a transphobe being very sarcastic obviously but i also kind of feel like that's not going to land with her oh crap i'll probably get called ableist for that <laughs> i'm red pay nicole <laughs> This has been Red Pagan Corner. Jesus. <laughs>